It's great to have you here. Glad to be here. You haven't aged a year. Oh, uh, you're kind. How has the crisis been the last three years? What, what have you done day to day to just keep it going? Well, remember, we've been around for 50-something years, so we've been through a few of these cycles, yeah. uh, 81, 91. Uh, you know, we take out the same, uh, the, the same playbook, basically. Where is land right now? If, if a guy like you goes out and says, okay, the debris, we had to lay off people, you're working with builders, you're negotiating the, the nuts and bolts of housing, where's land right now? Well, that is the good news out of all of this gloom. Uh, land is available at prices that generally work economically. Um, you know, it's a dramatic discount to where it was just a few years ago. Out in like a suburbs, like what's the average pr house price you're doing? Uh, come nationwide, 300000 but we go from 100000 to a million dollars. Yeah, but, you know, let's take a basic $800,000 man's, I call them, uh, you know, the McHomes are bigger homes and all that. What's mm -hmm. the new new? Like, is the kitchen different? Does everybody need a sub-zero refrigerator? What's the new you angle? Know, generally speaking, um, consumers are scaling back a little bit. Yeah. Uh, for a while, everything was upgraded, marble this, granite topped, European cabinets, and everybody's scaling back to a little bit in these economic times. And now for the surveillance question of the morning, is a granite top really granite? Uh, yes, sir. granite top is granite. Okay, here, let's go to the first chart, dreaded first chart. Three out of four are negative. I've never looked at this. This is Case Shiller, mm -hmm. quarter over quarter, and it's sustained quarter over quarter through the decade nicely off the cliff. And recently, three of the last four data points are negative. Mm -hmm. Do you share the gloom like Chris Whalen earlier this morning on radio that, that it's just it's the pricing's like this? Well, there, no question, pricing has been the challenge. Uh, that's what's ultimately going to help the recovery, and this happens every single time. Uh, right now, we've got lower prices combined with generally low rates, and that's what's finally spurring buyers to get out and, and make that decision. January has felt a lot better in terms of sales. Why? We're traffic? seeing traffic and customers uh, actually buying homes. November and December were very slow months. It, it's always a slow month because yeah. of the season, but it was particularly slow. January is not normally a robust period, but it's definitely feeling a lot better. Let's do too much information, a little bit of a look back here to see how high the Hanaian world flew. I mean, I got to bring this up. I mean, we're in the media business. I mean, come on, Aaron. This is, I, you lived this. What was your mm -hmm. payroll at the peak? <laughs> we had 7,000 people at the peak. We have 1,600 today. Um, we basically are cut 75%, which is uh, the dead average for the 12 public home builders. All of us have cut our staff by three quarters because the market's down by three quarters plus. When do you see marginal hiring to get back to 2,000 or 3,000? Uh, I think we will basically, after four years of a lot of cutting, we've really stabilized in terms of the employment mm -hmm. base. At this point, we're planning on growing our communities and growing deliveries. So I don't think we're going to be doing any more reducing. And by midpoint this year, we'll probably net net add on our hire. Housing affordability here, 30 years. Arabnanian, there's some footage there. That's it, Victor. Get up. Victor's moving slow because of all the Valentine's Day chocolate he got from the rest of the camera crew. I mean, the interest rates are up a little bit here. Do you worry about affordability? The media likes to trot it out like it's some big deal. How does a, a, a housing hitter like you? tackle affordability. The affordability is the least of the problems right now. There's something called the affordability index, and it measures median income compared to the income you need to qualify for the median priced house. Right. It's never been better. It is They started the index in 1975. It's never been higher. Yes, it's tweaked up. Uh, rates have tweaked up just a bit. On the whole, when you combine these low home prices mm -hmm. with these low mortgage rates, affordability has never been better. That's not the issue. The issue is unemployment, fear of confidence, uh, fear and lack of confidence, and that's what's got to turn right Prediction now. for spring, quickly. I think it's going to start picking up. I think we're going to start building some momentum. You sound like an optimistic home builder. Arrow of Nanian, thank you so much.